In this video, I'm going to show you how to import questions in the GIFT format that include multimedia content. If you're like me, you like to take care of all your test questions in a text editor rather than editing each question individually in the web interface with the what you see is what you get editor. In that editor on the web interface, it's not too hard to insert images and video and audio and stuff like that, but I really don't like to use that thing. I like to have everything in a text file that I can then import into Moodle. Much easier for me to control. So uh, if you don't already know what the GIFT format is, then you might want to watch some other video on YouTube that explains the basics of it, but um, I can run it down very quickly um, here. You have a part right at the beginning that's the name of the question. Uh, you, naming questions is very much a personal thing. I have a certain format that I like to use, but um, it's not that important. What's critical to make this work is the next item. The question item can be preceded by a command in brackets that says what kind of markup language is being used. By default, it won't use anything, or it will try to figure out what you're doing and, and um, do it appropriately. But by default, it will just be plain text, I think, or the Moodle auto format. You can tell it to use Markdown, which is what I like to use for linking to MP3 files for my questions. I teach a music history course, and so I have many occasions where I would like students to be presented with a musical example that they listen to and then respond to. And the best way I've found to do this is to embed the audio using a link to a file on a remote server. Uh, sadly, it does not work right to put the music file on the Moodle server and link to it that way. All that happens is you get a link to a file that is then downloaded to the person's computer, and that's not what I want anyway. I want a, a little embedded audio player. This part also only works if your Moodle administrator has enabled the multimedia filters that will convert any link to mp3 files into a flash player. So I put the markdown specification here inside brackets, then the question text is listen and respond. What instrument do you hear? Then I use markdown's format for linking to a web file somewhere. Uh, here I just call it example and that goes inside brackets and then immediately with no space an open parenthesis followed by the link that will reach the file and then a closed parenthesis. And then after that you do the open curly brace, the answers to the question, and then the closed curly brace completes the question. Now, so that's for audio files. The next one is for an embedded image where the student looks at the picture and then answers questions about it. So there's the uh, question name is here, practice embedded image. And for the image, I found that I have to use HTML. The markdown, if I try to do the same thing I did with audio using markdown, it doesn't work right. It just presents you with a link and not an image. The picture would then be downloaded to the user's computer. It doesn't really work very well. But with HTML, it works fine. So you'll have to be comfortable using HTML tags. And uh, I don't really use anything all that complicated here a couple of paragraph tags, and then the most critical one is the image source tag that you can see right here. Uh, image source equals, and then there's the address. Now the one option that I always like to put is width, because the source image might be way too big to fit comfortably in the test que uh, question. So I set this one to 250 pixels, and it will automatically take care of the height um, parameter. So then be sure and do the closed tags over here, and then the open curly brace before the answers, and then the closed curly brace. So save your file, and then it's time to import them into Moodle. So I'm going to go over to my question bank over here that right now, in this category at least, is empty. So I will scroll down and import. I choose which file format. It's in GIFT format. Then I will choose the file. Browse. Upload the file. I'll click import. And 
voila, we have two questions that have been imported. And let's look at them using the preview function just to make sure they worked right. This is the embedded audio question. And I'm going to move this into the screen. Okay, there. So here it says, listen and respond. What instrument do you hear? And you can see there's a little flash player where I can press play and the music starts to play. And then I can answer the question. It is a piano. You might not be able to hear it using w with the microphone I have, but anyway, that's the audio. Now the image, if I click preview here, it shows a picture of my bicycle, <laughs> my recumbent bike that I built all by myself here. So they can answer the question by saying that is a recumbent bike. So that is how you can import questions with multimedia contact, uh, content into Moodle using the GIFT format and a little bit of markdown in HTML. Thanks.